One of the interesting tools in Marvelous Designer is a zipper tool. It's here. You can create a zip here. For a zipper tool, I want to delete the swing part here. We are going to swing editing, select this swing and delete that. And as you can see, it will be open. And if you want, you can remove link editing between these two for suddenly draw something here and then it's because we want to draw zipper here and we don't want to uh, it's connect symmetrical okay and as you can see the front of our pattern will be open and we are going we have a zipper tool in a 3d we have don't have any 2d but you can draw it in both 3d and 2d select a zipper tool we have to define two edges for zippering uh, for better drawing that, please zoom in. As you can see, it's just, if you zoom out, the software does not understand, recognize that. Uh, we need to define it this part for better recognize the, for better for the better recognizing for the software. Please click in a way and to the down and double click. As you can see, the first side will be defined go to the second side zoom in don't forget because the software confused if you zoom out and don't don't recognize the edges and going down and it's done double click and as you can see it's automatically the zipper will be created here and hit space to simulate and this is our zipper tool <clears throat> if you select going to select as you can see if you select uh, the zipper main body we have uh, lots of similar properties here if you select the puller and slider we have a lot of <coughs> sitting here for defining the color and the shape of this first we select with the zipper tool as you can see for opening that you can select the zipper going your mouse over that be careful your mouse has to be this shape and click and drag it sorry going mouse thing click and drag it you can open it from here as you can see it will be open nice <clears throat> you can open it for closing it again you can select it go in your mouse shape like this and drag it to the wall and it will be closed don't forget to de uh, deactivate the simulation and then active simulation. Okay, as you can see, we can select the <clears throat> main body of the zipper and we have a uh, properties here. You can change the name, you can see the line length, you can change the size of that. As you can see, for example, five, as you can see, we have a bigger, you have to make a simulation, three, nice so you can change the size of this you can change the teeth widths in a centimeter and the total widths there are there are as you can see there are normal map you can see it here there are no they are not real 3d and the most important thing is the particle distance because this is the this is connecting the zipper is connecting to the main pattern and this is a different uh, physical property. This is a different fabric that you can define its uh, particle distance. A higher number, we have more harder, and the bad simulation, and the slower number, we have a better simulation. You saw it before. <coughs> I explained it before. And here you can fasten zipper. As you can see, it's, a, it's a closed, and you cannot open it. Here, you can select it and fasten zipper to open it nice so you can see so you can open it or you can select the main zipper and fasten it again this is unfold angle as you can see uh this fast this zipper is connecting to the main pattern with this line this is unfold you can see the fold angle better if I open it more. No. 
and the simulation is turned on select it and you can change the angle it means the zipper and the pattern is connecting with one uh, 180 uh, angle you can change the angle as you can see the fold angle will be changed okay so don't change it this angle is nice and here you can change the material i explained it before this is a material that are the same in a software you can change it to the main material plastic metal all how it looks like and you can change the texture as you can see this is a texture this is a texture and it's normal map it's faked 3d so uh look at this for example, I have a zipper pack here. You can enter it. It's double, not not this. Uh, double simulation. As you can see, we, I have a zipper here, which is normal. The puller. You can insert them as a texture and then normal. So the texture is the normal. You don't need to displace. If you have a displacement map, you can. Do it, but it's it's for render. You cannot see it here. You can change the color if you want. For example, yeah, this number. As you can see, you can change the teeth of that. Okay. And this is a texture of. Uh, you can here. And we have two tabs. You can here and change the properties for uh, tape. This, this is a tape and this is a teeth. As you can see, you can change the tape properties and the fabric properties here. And it's texture, displacement map, color. Here you can change the color if you want. And for defining which fabric do you want here, you can define any fabric to that. Nice, okay. You can change any, for example, denim. Or after that, you can change the properties of that. Color reflection, I will uh, explain it before. But you can open the preset and as I said before, and I explained it before, you can change the physical properties of all these settings there. But this isn't fabric here, rip fabric. So we have two tabs here. Don't forget that tape and the tees. Some tees and some tape. Nice. And if you select the its puller and the slider, we have another sitting here. You can change it. And you can change the slider shape. Nice. For example, this slider. <clears throat> it's puller. You can change the puller. You can define any puller that you want. Ctrl Z to bring it back. Nice. <clears throat> Select it again. Don't rotate or move it. And here you can change the stopper at the end. Stopper, it means uh, the stop part of this zipper can be it's here. This is a stopper, bottom spot, stopper and the top stopper. You can change them. If you select it, as you can see, it's a stopper. To bottom spot stopper and top stopper you can change it if you want specification you can change the gauge it means you can change the overall size of that the percentage interesting part is here you can open it as you can see it will be open and here you can change the weight of that heavier or lighter it's very interesting if i turn on the simulation turn on the simulation you can better understand it here one the gera 
turn off the simulation i think if it is come here you can better see that if you make it heavier it's a real weight as you can see it fall down because it's very heavy <clears throat> or turn the simulation on make it a lighter nice So you can change the weight in a gram here, or you can fasten it again. Reverse the direction, as you can see, it's reversing, it's down, going up again. Or you can change the opposite side. If you open it, simulate it, as you can see, it comes here, select it, going down. It comes in this side. But you can change it to the move to the opposite side if you want. And fasten it again. And here you can change the material of this fuller and the slider. You have, can give a texture to that. You can give a normal. We don't need to. For example, you can change it to the metal. Change it to the metal. Nice. And change the reflection, metalness, or I explained it before. So it's very easy. You can change the material of them, texture of them, anything here. Nice. And that's it. It's a zipper. You can create it very easy and fast in this software. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release